Hello everyone. Today we will see integration of JMeter with Maven. Maven is a build tool. Earlier developers used to use uh, Ant as a build tool, but nowadays Maven has become the most popular build tool that is available in the market. It is an open source tool, so you can download Maven from here. Depending on your environment, you can take either the tar file or the zip file. I have already extracted Maven in my folder, and now we will start uh, the actual uh, configuration of JMeter with Maven. So let me clear these results. This is an earlier test run. So I have cre created a very simple HTTP request, and this has Google.com, and it has a view results in table. This view results in table. We will be pulling the um, JTL file later on uh, for uh, taking a look at the report. Apart from this JTL file, it also creates the uh, report in HTML format, and all this is done by the Maven plugin, Maven JMeter plugin. So let's see uh, how this works. So in order to execute this. Uh, we have to set uh, in order to use maven actually we have to set two things go into the advanced system settings of your computer go into the environment variables and then here you will find here you need to add two system variables i mean just one system variable and one uh, you have to append the path so the system variable you need to add is m2 underscore home which is uh, having the entry of uh, the Apache Maven main folder, so this is where I have kept my Maven extraction. So that is where you need to put it, and then you need to update the path variable, path variable with the bin folder path. So this is Apache Maven 3.3.9 slash bin. So this is the way you do. Uh, Maven installation and configuration. So Maven has been successfully installed now, and in order to run Maven, we need to go to the command prompt and trigger our Maven build. This is the earlier build that I had done, so I will clear it out, and I will also clear the JTL files that are found in the target, just in case. So that we get a clean picture. Okay, these are the two images that I had got. So now our target JMeter report is clean. Nothing exists there. Anyways, J uh, Maven is going to recreate this report folder once it runs the job. So what you need to do first, you need to ensure that in this directory, uh, I would like to tell you one thing also that the JMX file that you create in JMeter should be stored under the source test directory. For the in order to do that, I do a dir over here, and I find that uh, the the here the pom.xml is there and here i have my jmeter maven directory so uh, you can uh, type directly from here or you can do one more thing if you have a look here i have placed my jmeter maven jmx file in apache maven 3.3.9 bin source test and then i have created this folder jmeter and in that i have placed the jmx file coming back this is the pom file that we will be using uh, you can take a copy of this in order to use the pom file and this has the artifact id the group id and the packaging uh, and apart from that i have the uh, lazy uh, lazy ry code dot jmeter as a group id in the plugin section and jmeter maven plugin as the artifact id 
below that you will see the execution section in which i have the j meter tests and uh, the phase has been mentioned as verify the goal is j meter so this is how you create a pom file in uh, j meter uh, for j meter may one execution moving ahead next you need to go to the bin directory where we have our pom.xml and mvn command so the command that you use is mvn install type mvn install over here click enter and then it will take some time there it goes it started building the jmeter maven snapshot now it's trying to find the uh, programs uh, J jmx files to compile and run okay so it has entered into the jmeter section now and it has started running our jmeter tests okay our build has been a successful build now let's see what we have in the uh, just to let you know that the output directory will be target and in the target you need to go to jmeter and there you will find a report section here you will get two reports first is the jtl report that you can view that you can pull it up in uh, view results in table in jmeter or you have this direct report which will show you a very beautiful uh, view in a html format let me open up this report so this is how your report looks like we have a 100% success rate the average time is 534 milliseconds the minimum time is 341 milliseconds the maximum time is 1234 milliseconds and the name of our test was um, uh, i mean the url of our test was http request we ran 10 tests with no failures and the average time was 534 milliseconds the minimum time was 341 milliseconds the max time was 1234 milliseconds if you want to have a look at the details you can just click this uh, blue button and it will give you all the details like here our success is uh, for all the tests it's true and all the tests have succeed, succeeded so here is a list of thread groups and the iteration numbers the time in milliseconds the bytes that have been transferred to and fro so on and so forth and this has especially been designed for uh, jmeter with ant but you can use it with maven also thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any questions or any queries regarding this tutorial just uh, message me uh, just uh, type in a com comment and do subscribe to my channel if you like my videos thank you so much bye